Hello, my name is Yohan, and this is my brother Tenji. Hello there. Today, we'll be learning about bees at the Amoyan Bee Farm in, in Dumaguete, which is where we are right now. Let's go. Without 
from Capital. Um, but where did you start to learn beekeeping? I started to learn beekeeping when I was uh, gifted a colony and then I, didn't, I, I don't know how, what to do with it. So I started to learn beekeeping at the University of uh, the Philippines in Los Manuel. And then I fell in love with the bees until I uh, studied at the University of uh, California in Davis for, uh, for insemination of the uh, queen bees. And then after that, I fell in love with the stingless bees that brought me to Malaysia to study and learn lots and lots of things about the stingless bees. Now, I'm going around the country teaching farmers how to do it themselves. And then, uh, being into business, I buy their harvest and then open it up to the market online. So, you can do I don't have to be everywhere, just to be online. Use the cloud, you have your market. Yeah. Locally, locally. That's how it is. What grade are you in? You have like your baby for that in grade nine? Uh -huh. Because I have also taught uh, beekeeping in the only one for grade five and six. And then uh, some of them now have their own farms uh, doing beekeeping. And you will love it when you're there. You can make it into a business also. Uh, business. Yeah, business. Opportunities is endless. Uh, you you already answered the second question that I was going to ask. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, what's the best tip that you could give to anyone who's starting who's going to start uh, beekeeping business? Before starting beekeeping, you provide food for the bees, so you plant. So bees can only survive with with, with plants that is flowers. Best is to have plants that is like uh, fruit bearing so that uh, the bees can pollinate the flowers and make it into fruits and the fruits that's for us and the honey is for the bees. So that's how it works. But God provided the bees so that it would be easy for us to survive. Like, um, as I've said, bees is for food production. Without the bees, we have nothing. So if you go to the um, groceries now, what can you see? It's all imported fruits, right? Yeah. Apples, pears, grapefruit, oranges. That's because those fruits came from countries where they have lots of bees. And they are using bees to increase their crop harvest. Now that would result to surplus production. The surplus production that they have, they bring it to our countries. We consume it, who's earning it? And, and who's caring for the bees again? Filipinos. So why not do it ourselves? And why not learn it and use it within our agricultural system? Um, if you migrate to other countries, you must be highly skilled. But New Zealand is offering now even if you have not graduated elementary in the Philippines, you can migrate, provided you have ample beekeeping skills. Because beekeeping or pollination is the priority in their agriculture system. That's what we should learn. Why not do it? Agriculture. Do Yeah, our farm in, in Batanga is the Malaya Bee Farm. It's They just make it. They just make. Yeah, I'll show you another one. Let's go to the back. They just make their own thing. It's what you call um, sugar pans, Bas like baskets. So unlike the the beast with the stingers, where you have a range, then you take it out, 
that is standing for and then that hand from with you we have that 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 was that was to make a use some the lip thing the lip balm so those are different kinds those are the aggressive types of uh, the skin that we here they just this has just developed this is a new file so that's how it looks like when it starts wow that's the queen there okay. yeah they're, they're going yeah. down oh, yeah. the biggest, biggest among one. the group mm -hmm. so those are eggs and those that's honey that pot so what they do when they start they make a pot for honey so that they will have food and then they start growing their numbers by producing eggs Stingless bee. So you don't have to worry anything about stings, but they die. This is a hive for the bees with the stingers, but it is being um, colonized by stingless bees. Yeah. You can taste that, get it, and then you can taste it. That's honey. Okay. So that's honey in the pot. Uh, so unlike the bees with the frames, you take out the frame and then uh, there's there's a um, something like a pail that you can harvest mm -mm. Um, the the honey and then bring back the frame again and then the bees will make it all over. But for for the stingless bees, it's here. It's the pots. And then you can take out the pots, mm -hmm. empty it. And then the meat, the the bees will make new ones. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the one that's about to act, that's liquid inside. Yeah, that's pollen. So you can taste that. But this one, this one is honey. On the other side. Okay. Yeah, that's okay, show the it to flower. Me. That's the male part of the flower. So the flower has a male and a female. Bees only collect Don't the male part. Just flower. squeeze it. You taste it, Kiamoi? You taste like it. Not bad. Not bad. Tastes good. <laughs> so that's that's the male part of the flower that's being collected by the bee. That's a very good energy booster. So it's a lot better than taking taking in energy drinks. Yeah. Uh, even um, universal fighters, that's what they take before going into a fight to energize them. So that there, there would be... Uh, nothing in your system if you go into like screening or testing so it's all natural as a kid you are being supplied with vitamins right yep. i mean b or whatever <laughs> yes but for honey it has all the vitamins from a to z yeah so bees have nothing else to worry about when they have honey they're all good uh, and you that's, have that's asthma as well my, my son yeah. He also went into beekeeping. Now he's a um, second year mechatronic student. Uh, my brother has skin asthma, right? Uh -huh. So, uh, what product do you recommend for him? I try to search online for Milea Bee Farm or Milea.ph and then look for Ichu's oil for skin asthma. Ichu, that's the nickname of my son, Ichu. Uh, and then that oil was uh, the one that um, helped him get through with his skin asthma. So it's Ichus oil for skin asthma. It's a mixture of oils uh, for moisturizing, and then you can. They also have like uh, soaps to maintain it. And they have a package specifically for skin asthma. Try to search it online. Malaya that the H or Malaya B Farm. Alright, thank you so much. Yeah. On Shopee or Lazada. Yeah, <laughs> it's also available on Shopee and Lazada. Okay. okay. Certainly, you will you will buy. <laughs> <laughs> Ang kuan lang kung kung sa siya na klase ng bees para makabalot ako sa ibang ato. So, so daghan mga klase, like base nung niya ang inyong gitawag na bees, lampinig di ay. So oh, wala siya ng So kanya lampinig, kuan na siya was. So ang bees, mo nang makagama siya o dugos or honey, kaya na siya honey stomach. Ang was wala. So ang was kuan na nasa na put siya gamit um, abang sa tua. Pero in terms of pollination, pagpalagan sa bunga, wala. Like lampinig, kada maagi ka, isting ka niya, masakitan ka, moro po na yan gamit. 
So, pagbalaan sila nga siya sa nature. Sa nature, So, yeah. ang ato lang, kuhan, mailhan ato. Kato yun yung nakita kanina, iwot mo siya gamit kayo. Yung daghan ko na siya. Dapat ay na sa balay, actually. So, sa daan ng Yes, sa kawayan. Ang, ang, para sa tao, ang babae lang man mo'y mumabdos o pagkaanak, di ba? So, sa bulak, nga sa babae na lalaki. So, ang babae lang ang pwede mumabdos. Pero ang problema sa bulak, kung saan pag-abot sa lalaki, pwede sa babae. So, manitira mo na siya. So, mo na'y trabaho sa bees. Ang bees, o tanan nga makita ninyo diyan na bee, babae na siya. Ang lalaki, hindi mo trabaho. Hindi siya mo gawas. So, lahi ang iyan trabaho. So, kung ang bihi na aga bisita sa bulak, babay na siya. Pero kung sa iya hanggi pangita dyan sa bulak, ang lalaki lang. So, dili siya kanahan ng babay. So, ang bulak na to, ganyan na ano na siya. Muni siya ang lalaki, muni siya ang babay. So, ang kuhaon sa bihi, kaning babay, lalaki. Ang ang bulak, utupan sa siya. Muna yung butangan o petal, yung giabungan. Para ang, ang bihi, dili makadretso dili sa lalaki. So, ang iyang agi andri ra. Usahan man niya pagsulo, dili naman siya makakuan sa iyang pako. Yang gurita ni babae, dahil mukamang siya pasunod para kuhaon ng lalaki. Ang bees, gamit kay siya in pollination tungod sa iyang loyalty. For a single type of flower per flight. But pasabot, kung bulak na siya sa lubi, ang bee nga musulod rin, ikan po sa bulak sa lubi. So, gikan siya sa pikas nga bulak, ang iyang ikuha dito lalaki, di ba? Kaya lalaki rin niyang ganahan. So, dala na niya, gibit-bit niya, nang makakita ka sa bee na yung white rin. Muto siya pollen. Lalaki to siya. Katong gitaste ganina, lalaki to tanan katong gikao ni mo. Muno siyang aslo. And then, musulod siya dili. Pag sulod niya, dili man siya ka diretso lupat. So, gunit siya, then kamang siya. Hindras ka kanaog siya. Katong lalaki nga nakuha niya gikan sa pikas, mapahid niya dili sa babae. Unang, namabdos ni siya, kaya nagamit na, indalhan siya o lalaki. So, nikuha siya sa lalaki, then mukamang siya siya pagkawas. Masaghid na sa niya, so, mamay kanuha na. So, Muna siya resulta, maning muna siyang bunga. So without bees, magsalig lang ka sa hangin, swerte na ka kung natay dutay. So, okay. so sa kalubasa, kung saan mo buha ito? So diba kuhaon mo ang lalaki, and then imong giyana. And then that's it. Kulang na siya. Ang angay ni mong buha ito, tangtangan mo itong lalaki, and then itasunod din mo siya. One, two, three, ang ikaupat, pinahanglan na na siya hilig power. Kaya eh, dilingin mo siya iyan, ang kalubasa yung ano yan siya, lima. Kung dilingin mo siya i-shake, posible nga kanirang tulong mo'y maigo, munang ngayon mong kalabasa, kabingi. Kaya wala maigo ni Joa. So kinala, i-shake ni mo na siya. Kung na-shake ni mo... So that's the cause of deformation. Yes. Kulang siya sa development of ah, yeah. pollination. Okay. So kung ma-fully ma pollinated siya, munang ngayon mong kalabasa, perfect yung picture. So nga ng uh, ubang countries nga, hindot nila mga bulak ang ilang bunga, tanan ka palibot na ng bees. Dagyan silang buyog. Muna'y gamit sa bees. Ang ato ang mga, ah, bees, na siya'y hangi. Hindi. Oo. Produkto ang prutas na siya. So, tinala, so second na lang ang hangi. Hmm, second option. Bonus na lang ang, oh, yeah. ang, ang hangi. Hmm. Like, kung nga kay Kalubinhan, putangan niyo mo, bees, 60 to 80 percent ang increase sa bunga kung nakakay bees. So, muna'y hangi na itong may balan or kana itulo sa mga tao nga ang bees din na to pangontra tabang na siya sa agriculture asa nang putsukan and then familiar mo dragon fruit di ba yeah we have one gabi ima na siya mo bulak so kung ang imong lugar duol sa area nga naay putsukan daghan ka og bunga dragon fruit kay ang putsukan ora man ay klase sa bees na makalupad at naay kung haya kang bulak ang uban di man kita sila maka navigate sila sa isa ka bee una sila man bag pollinate sa imo Uh, dragon fruit, ibuang durian, kaya mga mabulak mga bee. So kung wala ka na, wala tayong maharvest. So, matingala rin tayo nga, nandagkan kayo, kung sunod ka sa supermarket, purong lagi ni imported. Kaya sila mo'y nakakon kung saan paggamit ang bees. Ang problema lang, puro Pinoy ang ilang katabang dito, doon kita ang nangarag yabon. <laughs> wala, wala ka makakon. So, kwan pa, kanang naan na ito, tanang klasis bees, sa ilahan isa lang. Kani, eh, Like the nina na nga Brita, huwag man hindi makamasting kay stingless man siya. Hindi man huwag may pangisot ang kuhan, ang, ang kiwot. Pero dako kay siya gamit sa to ang agriculture. So muna ay kuhan, huwag rin doon na siya ang ay ma-spread out. So, yeah, if you want to start, I can give you a bamboo if you can copy. Wait, wait, I'll get you one. This was already clean, but if you're using a fresh bamboo and you open it up, You have to clean it and then put it back. 
it has to be sliced first so that when you decide to harvest, you can easily open it up. And then you put it back. You can only use a bamboo that's totally dry. Never use green bamboo because it will like close in a different way. But if it's totally dry, you can put it back. And then ants can go in. That's why you have to seal this up with tape. Except this, because this will be the entry point of the bees. And you can just hang it. Like you already have a bee colony in the house now. When that uh, that crevice is full, some of it will transfer to here. Now you will have um, a new colony. So that's just uh, how easy it is. Thank you so much. Uh, what are the benefits of uh, propolis? Yeah, propolis scientifically it's what you call the container of the honey that the bees made and the like they are making uh, like strings inside so that's what is called propolis but for us when we make products we also include the, the black stuff inside the inside the hive and then we placed it under um, like a gene that has a high alcohol content and then you just uh, shake that daily after uh, two months you can now take that as your uh, immune system booster so that's the benefit of propolis it can cure even like uh, fresh wounds you can apply it or you can like take it um, on a daily basis just to increase your immune system especially now that we have um, covid it's very very important. like after two months you can take just half uh, a teaspoon of it because it's liquid it's liquefied already so half a teaspoon will uh, get you a long way and then you can uh, for my kids which um, they couldn't take the um, alcohol so you can also add water to it it's important that you consume half a uh, uh, teaspoon then how much ang ratio kuya sa, sa alcohol to 20% propolis, 80% uh, alcohol. That's how you make it. And then you just shake it. Pinaka maayo at least two months. Okay, gahit man na siya mga maraming like palto. So you shake it daily and then mag dissolve na siya slowly. Antog na halos liquefied na yun siya after two months. Mm. Yes, and then pwede ito siya ni mong kuhan, like na nato siya liquid, pwede ni mo ito siyang o oh, alaso ni mo and then katong nabilin pwede na po ni mong gum on for another batch. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Pero this time kuha na siya, kanabang halos tunaw naman ito siya mas lesser ng imuhang alcohol content rate na gamit naman siya mm. pero mas dali na po din mo siyang magamit kaya ito na o naman ang siya daan o ang nga siya ito so we are going to explain a few of the different types of bees found in the Philippines alright yun tell us the first one so the eastern or oriental honeybee has provided humanity with honey and beeswax for thousands of years and they like to live in small caves or dark shaded areas which allowed beekeepers to keep them in apiaries for thousands of years. Next we have the European honeybee. These are one of the most common and most productive species of honeybees in the world. They yield large amounts of honey per year and aside from that, like the eastern honeybee counterparts, they also prefer to live in shaded areas. Next. So next we have the dwarf honeybee, which live on a single, for example, See, this blade of grass is a branch. Now, they live on a small exposed honeycomb hanging downwards from the branch. And they coat each side with propolis to prevent them from ant invasion since, you know, they live on an exposed honeycomb which makes them very vulnerable. Now, propolis is a resin-like substance that's known to have health benefits. And next is the giant honeybee, which like the dwarf honeybee, lives on a branch on a single exposed honeycomb. And like the dwarf honeybee, they usually wrap themselves around their queen and honeycomb, usually two to four individuals deep. And because of the large size, they're usually enough to 
ward off ant invasions, but they still coat the branch with propolis. And their honey is prized and commonly hunted after. And finally, last but not the least, I think you already heard this from Mr. Rico Moyan. It's the stingless honeybee. Although they're called that name, they do have a stinger, but unfortunately it's too small to the point they can't use it for defense. So as you may remember what Mr. Rico Moyan said, the the stingless honeybee has a resin that is known for its antibacterial and antifungal purposes. They can, they're the main pollinators for the mango trees and can also uh, pollinate the nearby coconut plantations. Oh, and bonus, just like what Rico Moyen said, he also said that it's actually one of the most expensive honeys in the local markets. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed. And if you're capable of traveling, you might want to go to the zone and visit the Malaya Bee Farm in Batangas. And if you're in Dumaguete, you can also visit the Omoyon Bee Farm. And if you want to learn more about bees, you can also contact Mr. Rico Omoyan through this number here. What we have learned today is that we learned about uh, the propolis and also their uh, health benefits. And I'm quite surprised that it can actually help with my brother's skin asthma right here. And aside from that, we've also learned about a few tips on uh, bee farming. And finally, we've also learned about how the business all started. Well, he started it because of his son's skin asthma. Well, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Very lucky to say. 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 Very luc